Okay, what's up guys, Game Fan Fan of All Games here, and I'm back giving you another drum script this Saturday, even though this is on Sunday. Uh, I was busy with a couple of things, so I couldn't record it on Friday, and I was out on Saturday, so I couldn't record it on Saturday. But, you know what it said, better late than never. So on this drum script this Saturday, uh, very interesting, so... Alberto El Patron, or as you guys may know of him in WWE as Alberto Del Rio, uh, apologized to Triple H about what he did uh, roughly five years ago after he got fired. Because if you guys don't know, uh, Alberto Del Rio was released uh, around 2014, and then like just months after months, it would seem like it'd be a pattern, like every three months, he would always um, down talk Triple H and down talk the company on all his social media accounts. It was like, it was like him getting released left a very, very bad taste in his mouth and he just like couldn't get over it and he would just, just say bad things about uh, the company and Triple H all over all his social media accounts and that went on for like about, about a year or two. And now, fast forward all the way in 2019, he apologizes and hope, and he hopes one day that he could, he could, he could come back to the WWE, and possibly retire his uh, professional wrestling career with the WWE. Uh, so I don't, I mean, this is wrestling; anything's possible. So I don't, I don't, I don't. See this happening, cause I that's like you. It's like you can, can forgive, but you can like never forget, type of issue. I don't see. As of now, I don't see WWE bringing Alberto Del Rio back. But knowing Vince, if there's money to be made, he'll do it. So I'm not gonna say never say never, cause the business that wrestling is. But I I say it's a very very small chance that that uh Alberto Del Rio will will be back in a in a WWE ring. So but yeah he poly he apologized. Apparently they both shook shook hands and they buried the hatchet but I don't I wouldn't believe that that automatically just okay hey we'll we'll take you back now. I don't I don't think that's how that would work. But like I said it's WWE anything can happen um, uh, moving on, good news for Becky Lynch, apparently ever since Roman Reigns, um, ab absence, doing him battling, uh, leukemia, Becky Lynch has the number one sales of merchandise, heading into WrestleMania, so she's number one, and she also has a Amazon exclusive, uh, Funko Pop figure that came out yesterday, probably sold out by now, but you could probably... Go over to Amazon and just type Becky Lynch Punko Fop vinyl figure, but it's probably sold out by now since Becky really is the the hottest uh, women's wrestler in in the WWE right now. So uh, good for for Becky Lynch. Now moving on, I'm gonna give my thoughts on the whole the whole Kofi Kingston storyline thing, and this is like a very this is the top storyline of WrestleMania, and it almost I'm not gonna say I wanted to take away from from the first ever main event female WrestleMania, but I'm really really invested in this storyline because you 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 watched Kofi fight for like the past forget the past 11 years. Look how hard he's fought in the past three months just to get well yeah three months just to get where he is now. Made it to the last spot. No, had to go through a gauntlet to get into the elimination chamber. Gets in the elimination chamber. Blows us all away with the fantastic finale of the elimination chamber with Daniel Bryan and him himself being the last one left. Gets the crowd on his side. Didn't think that we were gonna have such a a memorable, outstanding match with those two at at the. Though dumb two being the last in the elimination chamber, Dan Bryan wins. He's for one second. <coughs> Sorry about that. Dan Bryan wins, and like the crowd is still. <coughs> Damn, the crowd is still cheering, cheering for him and giving him his praise. 
Then we go on to what? Fast lane? Yeah, fast lane, roadblock, whatever you call it. He gets his championship opportunity. Then he gets it taken away from him. Then he had to go through another gauntlet, which he barely survived, only to Vince McMahon to change the rules again. <clears throat> Damn, I have a back call, excuse me. Only for him to change the rules again. And the last person he has to face is Daniel Bryan just to lose, and then you had Big E do a, a great um, kayfabe promo shoot saying that they don't think that it's worth it coming back anymore, and they say, like, they'll let you climb the ladder, but are they ever going to give you what, what you deserve? And they're sitting there contemplating whether they're going to come back on next Tuesday's SmackDown after what happened last week with Kofi surviving yet another gauntlet harder than the first one and then Vince changing the rules again and then saying Dan Bryan's the last one to come out and then Dan Bryan just beats Kofi Kingston so for a, so 50% of Smackdown was Kofi Kingston just to have him lose so it's like this only ends with Kofi winning at Wrestlemania 35 I do not see besides the fact of him getting injured which I hope hope he does not get injured now that would be a huge 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 thing. I do not see how WrestleMania 35, he doesn't win his match against against um, the New Day of Bryan. It's just that it's just that he has he has to win. That's the only way that this story would work. It's like the Daniel Bryan situation four years ago, when um, Triple H calling him a B plus player, and then he goes through two matches in one night, and then he becomes champion. So I see the same thing with Kofi Kingston at the end of the, at the end of the night WrestleMania 35. Kofi should should be WWE champ. But yeah, I'm enjoying the storyline. In my opinion, it's the best story Ryan currently in wrestling. Uh, I'm we're all rooting for Kofi. We all want Kofi. We all want Kofi to to win. There's, there's probably no one or a few people that probably call, call, that don't want Kofi to win, but the majority of the fans in WWE universe want Kofi Kingston to win. But that's going to wrap it up for this week's uh, Drama Script Saturday. Please uh, leave your thoughts and opinions below in the comment section. And I'm Game Fee Funeral All Games. And until next Saturday, I guess I'll see you guys then. I'm Game Fee Funeral All Games, and I'm out of here. Later, and peace.